Today, we'll recap a 2018 period horror film named Apostle. In 1905, a drifter on a dangerous mission to rescue his kidnapped sister tangles with a sinister religious cult on an isolated island. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. The movie begins in 1905, where we see a man named Thomas on a train. He had a letter from his sister Jennifer which she had written to his father. In this she had told that she has been kidnapped and held for ransom by a mysterious cult in Welsh Island. Thomas came back home from a trip after many years, where he came to know that his father was becoming very sad and sick in the sorrow of his children. Dear family Laura had given him Jennifer's letter and now he is on his way to the Welsh Island to rescue her. Now Thomas reaches the place from where he had to go to the Welsh Island by boat. There were many other people who were going to that island. Now the person checking the ticket tells them not to take any printed material, ornaments, or documents to the island. Here Thomas notices that his ticket has a stamp which is not on the other people's tickets. He cleverly exchanges his ticket with another traveler, and then he sees that a mark is being put on the luggage of the person with whom he exchanged the ticket. Now the next morning he reaches the island where at the harbor he sees that the man with whom he had exchanged the ticket is surrounded by some guards. Then they reach the Ariston village. Here they are asked to line up where they are then physically examined. Then some information like their name, age, and criminal records are noted from them. They then welcomes them by giving them an empty bottle and bread. Now after reaching his room, he finds a book which was about Aronson. Now Thomas is on his way to the church for prayers where he sees some guards taking that man inside a house. Then Thomas reaches the church where we see Malcolm, who founded the cult with two other convicts, Frank and Quinn. He tells that the government had sentenced them, but they somehow escaped from there and came to this island. Here they found the goddess of this island, who gifted him her wisdom, and entrusted him that he may enrich their minds. Just then, Thomas and Malcolm notice a woman walking outside the window. Then a man comes there and tells something in Frank's ear, after which all three of them go to meet the man with whom Thomas exchanged the ticket. He was tortured heavily and Frank says he didn't say anything about money. Now here Malcolm understands that they have caught the wrong man, so they kill him by slitting his throat. Then Malcolm tells them that there is an intruder between them and they have to find him. Next, we see Jeremy, Frank's son, and Fionn, Quinn's daughter. Both of them were having an affair and they also get intimate here. That night Thomas peeks into people's homes to learn about the island, from which he learns that people pour their blood into those empty bottles. Then he goes outside Malcolm's house and sees that he is going to a secret cellar of his house. Now he starts leaving from there but then he collides with Fionn, and seeing Jeremy also there, he understands about their affair. Then after reaching his room, he takes some blood from his neighbor's bottle and puts it outside his room. But while opening the lock, his finger gets cut due to which some of his blood drops falls down. And then after some time we see that someone is trying to drink his blood. Inside, Thomas tears the pages out of the book and makes a map of the village. On the other hand, we see Malcolm who has gone to a place in the forest by a secret tunnel. The next morning, Jeremy comes to call Thomas to work and asks him why he was hanging out at night, to which Thomas says he was having a cigarette. Jeremy then asks him for his help in chopping a boat, where Thomas shows him Jennifer's photo, seeing which he starts leaving. But when Thomas asks angrily, he tells that she has been kidnapped. He says that he saw her on his boat a month ago. Frank had told him that their crops were not growing and the animals were not giving children, due to which they have to import food for the island, and for this they need money. The father of this girl is very rich, so they will take money from her father in exchange for her, so that they do not die of hunger. Now Thomas asks him why didn't he help her, to which Jeremy says that he is weak and cannot fight Malcolm's guards. He then tells him not to give them ransom money. Now Thomas tells him not to reveal the secret of his being here to anyone, and he has to help him too, or else he will tell everyone about his affair. Next, we see Malcolm's daughter Andrea, where Fionn tells her she is pregnant. On the other hand, Malcolm invites all the new citizens to the church so that he can find the intruder. Here he asks those people the verses written on his Bible, which Thomas did not know. Thomas now takes out the knife for his own safety so that he can kill him when he comes close to Malcolm. But before that, the man next to Thomas tries to attack Malcolm because King had sent him to kill him. Thomas tries to stop him and gets injured, and Malcolm's guards stab the man. Now while dying he says that this place will burn, 
Malcolm then takes Thomas to his house where he asks Andrea to put stitches on his wounds. Malcolm thanks Thomas for saving him, and they begins to worry that the king might send his army to start a war. Now as Andrea is putting up Thomas' stitches, Malcolm tells Thomas that he will avenge the attack on him. Quinn then says that they have to find the intruder and also find the ransom, to which Malcolm asks him to collect the girl. Next, Malcolm parades Jennifer across the village to find the intruder, saying she is a spy who came to destroy their community, and her partner is still hidden among them together. If he doesn't come out, then this girl will be killed. Now Thomas is unable to go out even if he wants to and gets very angry. The next morning, Jennifer is made to sit at the entrance of the village where the children start harassing her. Malcolm has arranged a festival for the night so that when everyone is celebrating, they can search their rooms to find Jennifer's partner and Ransom's money. Now Andrea takes food for Jennifer and scolds the children and drives them away. She promises her that she will not let her get any harm and then she leaves from there. Then Thomas sees the guards take Jennifer away, and he tells Jeremy to be ready. Now in the night when everyone is celebrating the festival, Andrea comes close to Thomas and asks him who is he, but he does not answer her and leaves from there. He then joins Jeremy to make a way inside the tunnel that was under Malcolm's house. On the other hand, they are searching Thomas's room where Malcolm finds a map made by him, and he understands that Thomas is in the tunnel. Here Thomas gives Jeremy a knife and tells him to use it if he has any problems. Now Thomas walks in, and while Jeremy is closing the tunnel, Frank sees him, but he drives him away before the other two arrive. Then Malcolm tells Frank to go inside the tunnel with a gun and tells Quinn to stay outside and guard and Malcolm himself leaves to go to the other side of the tunnel in the woods. Here, inside the tunnel, Thomas sees a pit filled with blood, and from the other side of the tunnel, he hears the sound of a horse. He understands that there is someone above outside, and he also feels someone's arrival from behind. That's why he hides in the same bloody pit. Frank reaches the end of the tunnel looking for Thomas and shoots him, at which point Malcolm tells him it is him. On the other hand, inside the pit, the scary woman comes in front of Thomas and starts moving towards him. Now seeing this, Thomas gets very scared and starts leaving from there and reaches a cave. Here he sees some symbols on the walls which are related to the goddess. Malcolm goes to a room to an old lady tied to the roots of trees. Actually, this woman is the goddess of this island. He gets angry at her and asks why did she reveal herself in front of Thomas. Then he makes her drink his blood and tells her that she will no longer spoil their crops. Here we also see a man wearing a mask named Grinder, who is dragging a body in a sack. On the other hand, when Thomas regains consciousness, he sees Andrea there. She gives him clean clothes to wear and when he is changing, she sees marks of wounds on his body and asks him about it. Thomas tells her that he was a Christian missionary who was persecuted in Peking during the Boxer Rebellion for introducing Christianity to China and lost his faith as a result. At that time everyone except Jennifer had left him alone so he too would not leave her alone anymore. Andrea wants to help him, but he says that her father wants to kill him, to which Andrea says that his dad is not like that. Thomas tells her that she is deceived. His sister is neither a cheater nor a spy. She did not come here herself, but she has been kidnapped and brought. Andrea then takes him to a shack in a wheat field to hide. Fionn reveals to Jeremy that she is pregnant, on which both of them decide to run away and get married. However, Quinn sees them together and beats Fionn to ask what she is hiding from him. And when he comes to know about her pregnancy, he gets very angry. Now when Jeremy comes back there after some time, he is shocked to see the dead body of Fionn there. An enraged Jeremy attacks him with a knife and the two start a fight. But Quinn comes out asking for help and blames Jeremy for Fionn's death, finding Jeremy to run away, and the guards run after him to catch him. Then Quinn tells everyone that Jeremy has to be murdered for the purification ritual. He tells them that Malcolm is not the prophet and orders them to obey his orders. Here Frank is preparing to leave the island, because he felt that living here is not good for Jeremy's future. Malcolm tries to stop him but Frank says what they did is wrong and this community is now over. Here Jeremy runs away, reaching Andrea and Thomas, but the guards take him away and they are both unable to help him. On the other hand, Quinn prepares for the ritual, where they put Jeremy on a table and he kills him by drilling a hole into his head. After his death, he inserts a rose petal in his head. Then after some time Frank and Malcolm also come there, and Frank starts crying very badly after seeing the dead body of his son. Malcolm angrily asks Quinn why he did this, to which Quinn calls him a false prophet and demands that he prove himself by killing Thomas. Now Malcolm walks towards Thomas with a knife to prove himself, 
but Andrea stops him from doing so. She says that Thomas is not their enemy, but he does not listen to her and is about to kill Thomas. When Frank comes there with a gun and starts leaving to kill Goddess, taking advantage of which Thomas frees himself and runs away in the forest. Now Thomas sees the goddess in the woods and follows Frank to the barn where the goddess is kept. But then a gunshot is heard and Frank comes out injured. He asks Thomas to burn the barn and then Grinder kills him. Now seeing him, Thomas hides in a pit and from there he comes out inside the barn. Then Malcolm and Quinn arrive and Quinn shoots Grinder. But when Malcolm stops him, he shoots him too, causing him to faint and fall into the tunnel. Here Thomas sees that Grinder is forcibly feeding Jeremy's blood to the goddess. Then he goes to a sack hanging on the other side which contains Jennifer. But then Grinder comes there and hits Thomas and knocks him unconscious. And then Quinn takes Jennifer along with him. On the other hand, Andrea is praying to God when an unknown man comes there. Now when Thomas regains consciousness, he finds himself tethered to a meat grinding table by hooks embedded into his hands and legs. Grinder then operates the grinding machine, causing Thomas's hands to go inside the machine, due to which his hooks come out and he frees himself. He attacks the grinder and then kills him. Here the goddess shows Thomas her history with the cult. They used to forcibly feed blood by sacrificing animals, which brought vegetation to their village. She begs him to set her free and he grants her wish by immolating her. Now Malcolm also regains consciousness and comes out of the tunnel and sees the barn bearing. Quinn reveals to a captive Jennifer and Andrew that he imprisoned the goddess after he and Malcolm realized her powers. He then tells that when the blood of the animal stopped working, Malcolm tried to feed her his blood. Quinn's plan was to repeatedly impregnate Andrea and Jennifer and use their offspring as blood sacrifices. Then he hears some voices and when he goes to check, he sees that the fire has spread all over the village. Here a lady tells Thomas that the Quinn has taken Andrea to church. Then he goes to the church where a fight ensues between him and Quinn. Now Quinn is about to kill him by overpowering him. But then Andrea and Jennifer get themselves free and together kill Quinn. Then all three of them run towards the boat. But due to severe injuries, Thomas is unable to move forward, and he asks both of them to leave without him. He asks Andrea to pray for him, as he had regained his faith in God. Jennifer and Andrea get on the last boat on their way to leave when they hear a very dangerous scream. And with a blast, a lot of blood comes out of a mountain. On the other hand, Malcolm comes to Thomas and they see that, as he bleeds onto the ground. The vegetation around him grows and infused within his body while his eyes turn the same shape and color as the goddesses, signifying his rebirth as the new guardian of the island. And the movie end here. Thanks for watching.